This lesson is going to go over a problem from lesson practice number one and a problem from lesson practice number two from set one from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, evaluate each expression, use parentheses around all fractions, express each answer as it appears on the graph and calculator screen. So this lesson is going to show you how to enter fractions into your calculator. Because there is no fraction key, we need to use the division key. Now, some of these expressions we could get away without using parentheses around our fractions. But my rule of thumb is, whenever you have a fraction, just always include parentheses around it to make sure that that fraction sticks together when your calculator goes to calculate the problem. So let's look at our first one. We have 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. And we're just going to enter that in the way it appears, except we're going to use parentheses around the 2 thirds. So we'll put parentheses 2 divided by 3. So that represents 2 thirds. Plus, and let's put parentheses around this one, 3 divided by 5, which is 3 fifths. So we have our 2 thirds plus 3 fifths with parentheses around them. Hit enter. And there is our answer. And then the next one I'm going to do is this one right down here. This has two fractions in it, well, two mixed numbers, I should say, in this problem. So to enter a mixed number into the calculator, what we need to do is use parentheses. So I'm going to put a parenthesis in, put negative 5, and then it's going to be plus 1 third. So I have negative 5 plus 1 third, and that will represent that mixed number of 5, or negative 5 and 1 third. Close your parentheses, minus and then we have 2 plus 4 fifths to represent the 2 and 4 fifths. Hit enter and then we have our answer right there. So let me write down these answers. Our first one was 1.26 repeating. And let's go back and look at that second answer. And it's negative 7.4 with the 6 repeating. So negative 7.4 with the 6 repeating. Now let's just go back to our calculator. And you'll see that the last digit on both of these has been rounded up to 7. It's not that this digit is actually 7. It's just that the calculator cannot express all the digits because the 6 is repeating and it goes on forever. So it, the calculator cuts it off here, and because this next digit would have been a 6, it rounds this 6 up to a 7. 